Hi there and welcome to the solar panel update for October 2022. So it's been a funny month, quite a warm month for October and we've still not put on the gas central heating yet. But what I have been doing is charging the battery more and more overnight just to cover the bad days during the month. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east, and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Herb, and the Hypervolt EV charger. Right, so here we have uh, the full month, 476 kilowatt hours for the month, and a very much of a yo-yo kind of up and down month for October. Some really good days, uh, 27 kilowatt hours there on the first day. Uh, and some of the other days also went over the 25 kilowatts. So 26 there as well, 26, 25 kilowatt hours there as well. You know, several, it was a good few days there that were high, but then there were some really bad ones like 3.6 was the worst day, uh, 4.9. Uh, what else we got? 3.7. So yes, yeah, so you can see there, there was a few bad days together and then some odd, really good days as well. So the average per day for the month was 15.38 kilowatt hours. So how do we get on compared to other months? Well, October, as you see there from the bar chart, didn't look much lower than September, to be honest. So what have we got? Well, October 476 was the number and September was 530. So a little bit of a gap, but as expected, we expect it to go down in October in the winter anyway, and we're expecting November to be a lot lower again. Uh, but I was still kind of pleasantly surprised with the month of October not being drastically lower. So how do we use this power? Well, we used 117 kilowatt hours in the eddy uh, every day, uh, there was some hot water going in. So, um, there was uh, the hot water heated up after the battery. So the battery gets charged fully first, then the uh, hot water comes on. There were some low days where there wasn't much water going in. And I did occasionally make the eddy come on during the night on cheap rate just to give it a boost through the night. And towards the end of the month, you can see there there was no activity uh, because we went away and we turned off um, the eddy completely. In October, we also used the Hypervolt, the EV charger. Uh, it was slightly down on other months. August was 110, September was 40 kilowatt hours, and October was a little bit higher at 55 kilowatt hours uh, for October. Mainly um, solar charging that was down to, not overnight charging, but mainly solar charging during the day, whatever was kind of left over in those really good sunny days that we had. So let's have a look at what I actually exported. Well, what a really bad month for October for export. Hardly anything to give away, really, except for the first couple of days where we did give like four and nine away there. Um, but as you can see, the rest of the month was quite low with some really, the average day being like two kilowatt hours really exported. Um, it was another five there and a four at the end and really nothing on those couple of odd days towards the end of the month. So in total, not a lot really at all was exported at 4.1 pence as I'm on go, as I'm on Octopus Go. And in total, 60 kilowatt hours for the month was exported. So we now come on to what I've actually used, what I've imported from the grid during the month. 21 kilowatt hours on the first day, I charged the car up. We went on a long journey to the Malvern Hills and I charged it up at the beginning of the month and then after that consumption there two three kilowatts sorry two or three kilowatt hours a day really um five six when i might have been charging the battery a little bit more as you can see during getting towards the mid to the end of the month also might have charged up the hot water a little bit on cheap rate for it with the eddy as well as you can see then towards the end of the month we're five six eight nine kilowatt hours as well charging the battery up 
when it isn't very sunny the next day. So I'm looking at the weather reports to see what how I need to charge the battery, whether I need to charge the battery and trying to make an estimated or educated guess on how much I need to charge it up by. So in total for the whole month, we used 166 kilowatt hours uh, from the grid. Now that would be a mixture of daytime rate on Octopus Go at 40 pence a kilowatt and the 7.5p per kilowatt uh, rate overnight. So that breaks down. We actually used 8.51 kilowatt hours in the daytime on the 40 pence rate and on go overnight. We, uh, that's where the majority of it was used. Uh, 157 kilowatt hours at 7.5 pence per kilowatt. So let's do some sums. October, as billed by Octopus Energy, we imported um, eight and a half kilowatt hours during the day at 40 pence, which is three pounds 41. At night time, 157 kilowatt hours at seven and a half pence gives us 11.82. And we exported 60 kilowatt hours at 4.1 pence on Octopus Outgoing, uh, which gives us four pound 54. So in total, the electric spend, if we add the day and the night together, gives us £15.23 minus the uh, export, £4.54, gives us £10.69 for the whole month of October, which includes obviously the use for the house of electric and heating the hot water with the eddy and a little bit going into the EVs as well. Uh, when the sun was shining and the battery was full and the hot water was heated up. So £10 in total, not including standing charge for the month, I think is pretty good. If we look at the standing charge, um, obviously we didn't use any gas at the moment because we're not using the boiler or the hob. Uh, we've got an induction hob and the electric cost was 1069 so let's look at the standing charges fairly standard 27 pence a day for gas times 31 days gives us 844 and 37 pence a day times 31 days for the electric gives us 1167 if you add those two together it's 20 pounds and 11 pence standing charge plus the 1069 we actually used on electric gives us 30 pounds and 80 pence so yes, the standing charge is double uh, than what I actually used, but £30 for the month of October for the house usage of the electric and the gas. So all in all, I'm quite happy with the month of October, actually. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than this by now. Uh, and paying that kind of amount for electricity for the month, I'm very happy with that, even though I've had to start spending a bit more uh, in the evening or overnight in order to charge the battery more. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.